Witteya. Yeah, we saw him compete earlier. Yeah, we did. Just realized that. And get stopped by Alessio Malatesta. Malatesta. That's right. Oh, I'm excited for this one. A fight that can change the lives of these two fighters if they get that victory, if they get their hand raised here tonight. It's been a long road for these two fighters. It all ends here. Yeah, Northern Thailand taking on Northeast Thailand. A rivalry we're not used to seeing. Glasser, five fights within the tournament with three knockouts to his name. Dao Prayer, five fights, four victories, all four by knockout. That only loss to Glasser. Here we go, round number one. Of course, it's Dao Prayer in the black and Glasser in the white. Good low kick there for Glasser. Left kick to the body by Dalpre. Swinging left hand there. Yeah, you know what? Dalpre told me after he lost that first fight against Glasser. He told me it's because he was still recovering from sickness. So good to see him back on full form and here in the final. I've heard that one before. Oh, yes. <laughs> Tempted right high kick there by Glasser. Oh, beautiful body strikes. One, two, three. Combination coming in by Dalpre. All three connecting. Yeah, very beautiful from Dalpre. Love the way he puts his combinations together and a good kick to the body by Dalbrat. Outside kick there from Glasser. Good combination. Right body shot, left high shot there. Ball for get connecting once again by Dalbrat in the black. I love how Dalbrat is attacking multiple parts of the body and throwing combinations. Remember yeah. from the tournament, Glasser, he was in trouble in a couple of his fights. He has a good chin on him. He can take a shot just as I say that. Dalpre delivering a beautifully strong time left hand that rocks. Just for a Lassen. moment, Dal Dalpre seemed like he was a shark that smells blood in the water. And now Glasser coming back with some big shots of his oh. opening uppercut from Dalpre. What an uppercut that was. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Dalpre on the back foot points extremely oh. well. Oh, big left hand by Dalpre. And Glasser goes down. But straight away he goes back. To his feet. And Dal Pratt looking at the referee asking why didn't you give him a standing eight count? That, testing the chin that I was uh, talking about. Rocky Glasser. I love those shots in the midsection and those huge elbows in now coming in from Dal Pratt. And oh, elbow double. once again. It's all Dal Pratt. Left elbow once again. Left hand by Dal Pratt. Oh. Chasing Glasser around the ring. Here come the elbow strikes once again. And oh. again. Left him a standing eight count and I think that was rightfully so. Oh, he's moving back. We've seen, how many times we've said tonight a fighter has got wobbly legs but a fighter hasn't been able to stop them. Dalbrae looks like he wants to change that. Swing in left hand. And losing his footing again. Can he get up? Yes, he does. Referee is not going to count this time. Big kick there from Dalbrae. Oh, another hammer. Hammer of the left hand Glasser, and an elbow. Glasser not fighting back. He's in real trouble. He's trying to put up the knee guard. He needs to survive. He needs to get to the end of the round. Here's a big mountain to climb now. Glasser. Such a great job. Dalpra has done in the first round. Left kick to the body. Another left hand. That time blocked by Glasser. Oh, one way traffic in round number one in the final. Stay with us. Round number two up next. Well, the story of the round is all the attacking prowess on display by Dow Prayer. There's no doubt about it, it was one way traffic. I mean, the referee didn't count right, but it looked like a pretty good knockdown to me, even though I know he was going for that kick, but at the same time. That connection was pretty clean. But it is what it is. I'm sure Dalpre, even though it wasn't just a knockdown, will, of course, get the 10 9 no, on think, the judges' scorecard. I think the referee just ruled it because he was going for a kick and then took a punch and he might have just lost his balance. But there's no doubt about it. That stunned Glasuk. But with what we said, we've seen Glasuk in these situations before and his chin is. 
incredible. Yeah. It can take a lot of punishment. It can continue to move forward, which can eventually frustrate opponents. The question is, has Dalbre got enough to do that again? Because he has to do it. He has to put it on. He's already cheering to the crowd and he's already in the middle of the ring looking to take it to Dal Prayer. There you saw Dal Prayer, the oh, Classics family, yeah. excuse me. Left hand there from Dal Prayer, snapping right hand. Glasser chasing the Rivers on his face, biting down on the oh. shield. Another left hand there from Dal Prayer. Big elbow there from Dal Prayer to counter the attacks coming in from Glasser. Right, kids to the body. I can actually think we've got the father of Dal Prayer behind us. Fantastic support for both fighters. And you wouldn't expect it here in Lopuri province. Good team there from Dalbrat. Glasuk still pushing forward. Nice knees from Glasuk. Glasuk is just unbelievable. He really is. He took the barrage there in the first round. So much punishment in round number one. And Dalbrat now on the back foot looking to defend his position. You can see the corner in the top left hand of your screen. Corner of Glasuk, a screaming flag. Fighters to move on, delivering a good right kick to the body. Beautiful left shot there from Glasser. Left knees to the body, left and right in fight. Seems like now Dal Prey is in some trouble. Good right hook there and a good knee to the midsection by Glasser. Manages to block the right blocking, kick to the left yeah, kick. Glasser is blocking every strike that Dal Prey is throwing right now. He just cannot get through. And you can see the corner of Dal Prey now looking a little bit worried. Yeah, they want their man to defend every single strike. Easier said than done. Left knees here from Glasser within the clinch. And a right knee. And there's no doubt that Glasser won that clinch exchange. Glasser now moving forward once again. Good hook there from Dalbra. He is wearing down Dalbra mentally. Four knees coming in here by Glasser. Doing everything he can to fight and get back into this fight. And he is doing Left knee from Dal, sorry, from Glasser. Honestly, after the first round, I did not expect to see Dal Pratt on the back foot. Because this round so far, it belongs to Glasser, without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, amazing display of heart, fortitude. Right kick there from Glasser, knocking Dal Pratt back. Left knee by Glasser, unbelievable. What a fight. What is he made of? It's been a great night so far, but without a shadow of a doubt, this has got to be the fight of the night. Oh, right knee to finish the round by Glasser. Now that round definitely belongs to Glasser. All right, well. An unbelievable second round there by Glasuk. He now evens the score. It's one and one. I mean, he did everything in that second round to take it to make Dal Prayer uncomfortable, and that he did. He yeah, I believe rushed him. just dominated didn't, that round. Didn't let him breathe. No. Nope. Didn't let him throw anything. He blocked a lot of strikes, that, shots that he wasn't blocking in round number one. And now it's up for grabs in round number three. You win this round. You win the fight. <laughs> Inaugural Thai Fight League champion. Wow. This tournament deserves this as well. This is phenomenal. Here this is go. why we have Thai Fight League. I mean, to build up to moments I like know. this. Here we go. And Glasser doing exactly what he did in round number two. Pushing forward against Dalbre. Dalbre can't let him do this. Good knees there by Dalbre. He's got to fight back in that clinch. Fantastic knees straight down the middle by Dalbre. He should be giving up ground this time. Good movement there from Dalbre. Sneaky left hand to the body by Glasser. Left elbow by Dalbre. Yeah, oh the my knees. goodness. Back straight down the middle go. by Dalbre. Absolutely be beautiful. Well timed. T by Dalbre. Left elbow straight down the middle. Good knee by Glasser. Back and forth we go. It's looking like it's swinging just in favour of Dalbre right now. That's right. I'm starting to think so, but the strikes now coming in from Glasuk. They're accurate. They're pinpoint. 
Alprea happy to fight off the back foot and he's connected with a lot of strikes. Kicks to the body, and punches to the body and head as well. Just don't know where Glasser finds his energy from. Oh, beautiful uppercut there from Dalpre. Left knee. Glasser performing as he did in round number two. However, the difference being Dalpre is countering. Good kick there from Dalpre. He's still on the back foot. Glasser, you can't stop him moving forward now. Extremely aggressive. Glasser is like a bulldozer. Dalpre is looking to be more accurate with his strikes. Beautiful knee to the midsection there. Trying right. to go for a oh. sweep. Almost got connected with a knee strike. The corner, the white corner of Glasser realized that. Right, kicks to the body. Dalpre might be hurt from that knee strike, Kevin. But Dalpre, he's slowed down significantly now. Having trouble to stay onto his feet. He looks fatigued, Aaron. He does. This may be Glasser's fight. Despite being knocked out in the first round, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, just losing his balance there. Oh, this match is crazy. This is fire. Two Sends elbows it. in a row by Dalpre. Sets it right elbow by Dalpre. Swinging left up. Both fighters connect together, almost clashing heads once again. Dalpre, look at that expression on his face. Exhausted. He's given everything throughout this tournament. The third and final round is over. We Going to go to the judges. An exceptional fight by two exceptional fighters in what has been an exceptional tournament. It all comes down to how the judges have scored it. For being honest, brutally honest, I thought that Dalbro might have done enough in round number three, but you said, and you might be correct in your thinking, that Dalbro's fatigue was setting in. I feel as if the third round can go any direction. I mean, we had Dalpra, he had some great counters. He was very accurate with his shots. And then we just had the onslaught coming in from Glasser. Kept pushing forward, kept attacking with those knees and elbows. This is going to be a hard one to call. Yeah, as we view these highlights, remember, this is the second time these boys have fought. Glasser defeating Dalpra in the tournament group stage. Gorgeous one two there by Dalbre. That uppercut as well. It's gonna be so difficult to score this one. But we are gonna go to the judges. Let's get the official confirmation right now. สองฝั่งให้ดังกึกก้องไปทั่วประเทศนะครับไหนฝั่งนครราชสีมาอยู่ไหนแล้วฝั่งทางแพร่ระดับแพร่อยู่ไหนวู้การประกาศผลต่อ
โอ้โหยินดีกับผู้ชนะมากๆเลยฮะกว่าจะผ่านพ้นมาในหลีกแต่ละหลีนะฮะเจอกันซ้ําแล้วซ้ําอีกคู่นี้เขาเรียกว่าเป็นคู่กัดกันจริงๆแน่นอนฮะผมเชื่อเลยว่า2คนนี้สายเลือดใหม่ของเราแน่ๆแน่นอนว่าผู้ใหญ่หลักหลายท่านได้เห็นแล้วนะฮะมาเจอกับหลีกใหญ่ของเราแน่นอนนะครับและยินดีด้วยนะครับมอบนะครับเข็มขัดแชมป์ไทยไฟลีกของการเผชิญคุณมิสเตอร์ทาคาชิฮาตะครับกับการจัดการบริษัทตรีเพชรอีสุสุเซลจำกัดนะครับขาดเข็มขัดแชมป์ไทยไฟลีกให้อีกหนึ่งเส้นไปเลยส่งเสียงปรบมือดังๆให้กับแชมป์ใหม่ของเราด้วยหลุด67กิโลกร,รัมและเขาคนนี้แหละฮะมอบต่อเนื่องเลยนะครับเช่นเดียวกันกับมิสเตอร์ทาคาชิฮาตะครับเงินรางวัลมาแล้วเงินรางวัลมาแล้วแล้วมอบให้กันตรงนี้สองแสนบาทสุดยอดสุดยอดจริงๆนะฮะจำชื่อไว้สองคนนี้นะครับดาวแพร่และกล้าสึกเจอกันอีกแน่นอนแน่นอนนะฮะก็ขอบคุณไทยไฟลีนะครับพิคัดคนนะฮะจากทั่วประเทศมานะครับทำให้เราได้นักมวยนะฮะสายเลือดใหม่ดีๆให้กับไทยไฟต้องคอยติดตามนะครับผม